y'all. Welcome back. Boy, do I have a treat for you today. It's a delicious dish. You're just going to love it. It's hard tack, y'all. Now, it was a basic staple for the soldiers in the Civil War. I mean, they ate this every day. They made a ton of it, and enough to feed an entire army, which they did. But today, we're just going to be making a little bitty portion of it. So we're just going to go ahead and start making it. We got all our basic ingredients right here. So once again, we got two parts of flour. We're just going to go ahead and put all of it in here. Just put it right on in there. And then you're going to want to go ahead and put six pinches of salt. Now, I mean, whatever pinch is to you, I just pinch four, five, and six. Then we're going to put three-fourths part of water in here. Just pour it right on top. It's going to make a nice gooey batter. I'm going to stir it all together. It's going to get messy though. Now your batter is going to get real tough and thick and that's what you want it to do. I mean, so now see, after you get it nice, good, and dry, you're going to want to spread it out on a pan. We've got a small pan right here. It ain't got to be big, but you do want it to be about half an inch thick. So you're going to go ahead and put it down. Oh, it's real dry. That's good. So you're going to put it all down right here. And sometimes it is hard and tough to play with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of vegetable oil on my hands. Not much. Just kind of get them wet. Kind of like you're putting lotion on. You're going to get it off this spoon here as much as you can. It's so good. We're going to mash it. And I mean just mash it. See, the soldiers would lug this stuff around for days on end. I mean, they'd lug it around in wagons. And this ain't light weight either. Sometimes they'd have bugs and weevils all in it, but I mean between me and you, they'd still eat it. Protein. My producer said I couldn't use that. So we got the bug free kind right here today. We're just going to flatten this out and all you want is it to be half an inch thick. Just, it ain't got to fill up your whole pan either. Just go across and mash it half an inch thick. Now that we got it all padded out, what you want to do is you want to put it in a preheated oven, which I already done. For 30 minutes. Now, you're going to let this cook. Oh, it's hot. You're going to let that cook for 30 minutes on that side. In 30 minutes, you want to take it out and flip it over. It should be nice and pale. I mean, it looks so pretty. Nice and pale. And then you're going to cut it in 3 inch slices. You ain't got to have it in 3 inch slices, but why not? And you're going to let that cook for 30 more minutes. And then when you're done, you have delicious hardtack. Now, we ain't got an hour to wait. So what we did is we went ahead and made some look at it. Don't it just look so good? I'm going to try a little piece right here if you don't mind. Mmm. I mean, it can't get no better than this right here. Hearty, hard tack. Now, if we just left you in the dust today, or you want to learn more about the Civil War, head on over to Stone River National Battlefield's website and check it out. Bye, y'all. Thanks for joining.